Welcome to our helmet safety and the 222 check video. This is lesson 2, video 1 for our Let's Go curriculum. In today's video, we'll be learning to check our helmet for safety issues and understand how to fit it and wear it safely. We're learning this because a correctly fit helmet is important for protecting our brains from a serious injury when a crash or incident occurs. You'll know you've got this when you can choose a safe helmet, fit it to your own head, and adjust it for wearing it correctly. Today's vocabulary will include helmet, anatomy, helmet adjustment dial, helmet chin strap, chin strap buckle, helmet side straps, side strap slider or adjuster. First, let's start with helmet anatomy. That means the parts of our helmet that we want to take a look at. This may be familiar. It's a bicycle helmet or a protective head covering. This is the front of the helmet and this is the back. On the back, you'll also notice the adjustment dial. Next, we have the side straps, which have sliders on them for adjustments. These meet to form the chin strap. You'll notice at the base of the chin strap is the buckle. Ooh, nice buckle action. All of this can be adjusted using the straps and sliders. Great, now we know the parts of our helmet. So how do we use those parts to fit it and wear it correctly? My friend Amy will teach us what she knows. Hi, how do you know if you're wearing your helmet correctly? Today I'm going to teach you a very easy check that you can do in under a minute to make sure that your helmet fit is looking good. All you need is these two fingers. First thing you do with your two is put two fingers on the top of your eyebrow. It should be touching the top of your eyebrow and the bottom of your helmet. So if your helmet looks like this, it is very far back, too far back. So you want to make sure it's far enough ahead. Then with that, I'm going to make sure that this dial in the back is nice and tight. This will make sure that my helmet doesn't slip too far back. The second two that you want to do is on the side of your ears. So your clasps should be right down underneath your ears. This keeps these nice and tight so it stays forward and it keeps your helmet from going too far side to side. The third thing that you want to do with your two fingers is put it under your chin. It should be two fingers or less for distance between the strap and your chin. You don't want it too tight because that will imp impede your movement, but you don't want it too loose because otherwise your helmet will come up. So that's a two, two, two check above your eyebrow, on the side of your ears, and under your chin. That's it. You got it. Hope to see you on the trail. Thanks, Amy. We just learned what is called the two, two, two check for helmet safety. Now let's see if our friend can do it. Two, two, two. Stellar job, young rider. Okay, y'all, do you think that you can see a good fitting helmet versus a bad one? Well, now it's your chance to try. In each of these photos, Amy is either wearing her helmet correctly or she has something done wrong. See if you can guess the correct answer to all six photos. Don't let her silly faces distract you. Here's a hint, two are correct, and four are incorrect. So, how'd you do? It's not always easy to see if someone is wearing their helmet incorrectly, but the more you practice on yourself, the better you'll do. Time to review our 222 check. Eyes. Helmet is level and no more than two fingers fit between eyebrows and brim of helmet front. Adjustment dial is tightened to be snug. Ears. Helmet side straps meet to form a Y or two fingers in the shape of a V below each ear. Mouth. Chin strap is buckled and snug below the chin. No more than two fingers fit between the chin and strap. Okay team. Now it's your turn to practice at home, even if you don't have your own helmet. 
Download the PDF, Helmet Fit at Home, provided in the video description. Review the activity and become a helmet fitting master! Thanks for joining me today as we learned more about helmets. I'm definitely looking forward to next time. Don't forget, you can visit cascade.org backslash helmets for more information and resources. Take care. Chat soon.